Welcome to tonight's presentation of the Pro Basketball Association. If you want pro, you want the PBA. Tonight's matchup between the Texas Rough Riders in their first game of the year and the Plainview Knights looking for their first win of the year as they have begun the season 0-5. And, and the opening tip is up and won by the Knights and we're off and rolling in Plainview. The Knights work in the dark uniforms to our left. And begin with a three from the right side for Scheffler that rims off. Put back, try, banked in. The Knights strike first on the opening possession. Rough Riders, just six guys in uniform tonight as they play their first game of the season. They work in the half court here to our right in the white uniforms as Hill gets a staggered screen. Gives off to Little. Step back three. Off the back iron, but rebounded by the Rough Riders. Second opportunity. Open jumper from the foul line for Moore. He can't put it through. And another offensive rebound for the Rough Riders. Third opportunity of the opening possession. Cross court pass, has to be saved. Hard will chuck one up. Three pointer no good. And the rebound eventually goes out of bounds. The Rough Riders 0 for three on the possession. And the Knights get it back with a two nothing lead. First semi-pro team they've had in Plainview, Texas all time. Part of the PBA as they joined just last month. And the Knights take an early 4-0 lead. Both buckets from Brandon Wynn to begin tonight, the veteran on the team. Wynn, 38 years old out of Amarillo, Texas. He's gotten the starting going. I should say the scoring started for the Knights. with another step back three off the back rim. Rebound ripped away by Plainview as McGee pulls in the board. Already the four nothing head start. Here's Carter in the lane, shot no good. Rebounded by the Rough Riders. First game this season for the Rough Riders. They joined the PBA less than a month ago on May 26th. And looking to start off with a win, but not the best start tonight as they turn it over and have still been scoreless this evening. Trailing 4-0, 90 seconds in. Gwynn will speed it up the floor for the Knights. Now McGee spots up for a triple, and it's well off the mark out of bounds. Knights with two early buckets. From Brandon Wynn, the 6-6 forward. That's been all the offense in this one so far. Got a foul on the screen out the perimeter. They're going to call an illegal pick set by Caleb Moore. It's another turnover for the Rough Riders. It's still 4-0. The Rough Riders trying to get on the board for the first time this year. There's a drive in the lane. Runner too strong for Gwynn. Rebounded by Moore. We've been stuck on this 4-0 score here for a number of possessions. Hard down the lane with contact, finishes for the and one. Paul Ard with the first points for the Rough Riders. And he'll try to turn it into a three point play at the line. Free throw, around and down. And it's a one point game here a few minutes in. Off the screen, three-pointer off the mark for Quinn, rebounded by McGee. He saves it for the Knights. Pull-up jumper from the elbow is no good for Carter. Carter actually started this Plainview Knights team. It's his operation as they joined the PBA back on May 2nd. He along with his teammate Hines. As the Riders suddenly in front, here's a steal. Looking to add on to the lead, and they'll have to do it at the free throw line as Tristan Davis was fouled on the layup. Fouled by LeVon Carter. 
And so Davis at the line with the Rough Riders in front. And he adds on. Knights scored the first four points. They have since gone silent offensively. As Davis leaves the second free throw short, but it's a 6-0 run for the Rough Riders, and they have their largest lead of the first quarter. Carter from deep hits the three, and the Knights are back in front. Carter puts them ahead by one. He's been their leading scorer this year. Not only did he start this team, get them in the PBA, but he's been leading the way as well, averaging 21 points a game. Originally from Tampa, Florida. The Knights are made up of a bunch of Texas products. But Carter is one of the outliers. He's from the Sunshine State. The Rough Riders respond with a triple to go back ahead, 9-7. They're starting to warm up offensively. Here's Carter again from well beyond the arc. This time no good. McGee with the board, it's ripped away and a whistle. With the foul called against the Knights after they lost what would have been the offensive rebound. And the Rough Riders get it back up by a bucket. Nearly midway through the first quarter. Walk it up with Ard. It's a screen, now attacks off the left hand. To the rack, runner, too strong. And it's rebounded by Carter. Carter in the front court. Left hand side, passes out. Scheffler on the deck. Back over to Carter, three-pointer. And he hits another. Second three in the quarter for Carter. And the Knights are the first to double digits as they lead by one in this seesaw opening frame. On the way to the rim, drawing the foul is Davis on a strong take. And he'll head back to the free throw line where he's one of two tonight for the Rough Riders. Playing in their first game of the season. And the Knights, meanwhile, they've been more often uh, tested throughout this season so far. Playing in their sixth game of the year, but both teams looking for their first win. And Davis can't hit the free throw. Plainview Knights coming off a loss to the New Mexico Blue Tails, who they also lost to in their season open. Last time out, it was quite the drubbing, 140 to 97. The Knights have allowed a lot of points in their games this year. As Davis fixed the second free throw, and we're all tied at 10 midway through the first quarter. Carter drives and kicks. Smith gets it knocked away, and it's stolen by R. The Knights turn it over. Here come the Rough Riders. In the lane, finger roll for Ard, prompts the foul, and he'll head to the line. <laughs> now it looks like they're actually gonna call it on the floor before the shot was put up by Ard. So the Rough Riders left the inbound from the baseline. Here's Ard on the inbounds play. And his pass off the mark. Kind of got caught there in midair, threw it behind his teammate who moved out of the way. And the pass went out of bounds for the Rough Rider turnover. So the Knights get it back with a chance to take the lead back, all tied at 10. Win cutting to the rim. On the baseline, has to pass it out. Scheffler. Back to Gwynn. Scheffler, corner three, gets knocked to the floor, and he'll head to the line. Cardinal Sin of following a three-point jump shooter, and Danny Scheffler will head to the line for three attempts. First free throws for the Knights tonight. After a couple of trips to the stripe so far for the Rough Riders on the other end. And the first is short for Scheffler. He entered tonight shooting just 50% from the free throw line this year. One of the younger players on Plainview, just 20 years old, originally out of the Dallas area. 
He gives the Knights the lead. And Scheffler makes two of three. The Knights are ahead, 12-10. Heading towards the final three minutes of the opening quarter. Our dribbles off his foot, has to go scamper after the loose ball. Now Davis with it. Jack Black winding down, and now Davis dribbles off his foot, and the Rough Riders will turn it over. A sloppy possession. When Roderick Willis went after the loose ball by midcourt, he slipped and fell down. That didn't help either. A blooper reel for the turnover for the Rough Riders. And now it results in the layup down low for the Knights. And they double their lead. First points for Brandon Smith tonight. The Knights are up four. Hill bounces to the baseline. And laying it in is Davis. Nice cut to the rim. Good play by the Rough Riders, cutting the deficit in half. Carter passes off the mark to Smith out of bounds, and the Knights turn it over. So a chance here for Plainview to tie it up, trailing by a basket. Hill, shimmy to the line, pass intercepted. Stolen away by the Knights. Carter slowing things down. Now pushing into the front court, lobbing ahead to Quinn. Shot blocked from behind by R. And the Knights will inbound under their hoop. Open three, Scheffler, he hits. First basket for Danny Scheffler, and the Knights are up five. That's their third three of the quarter as a team. That's their largest lead of the game so far. Double team, so he spins baseline. The floater goes. Tough shot for Brandon Littles as he got knocked to the floor. And he makes it a one possession game. On the other end, nice triple drive to the rack. And the lay in good for Jaquan Smith. Now whistles out by the midcourt strike. And a foul called against the Knights defensively. So Ard will reset the offense up top for the Rough Riders. Tax to the rim, shot no good. It was altered by Smith coming over with the help defense. Carter all the way to the rim, flips it in. And the Knights continue to add on as they're up by seven in the final 90 seconds of the first quarter. Davis draws the foul after the little hesitation move. And Tristan Davis steps to the line for two. Rough Riders have been productive at the line tonight. Davis makes both. They're five out of six from the stripe. Quickly down on the other end, Carter drains the three. And the Knights are up by eight. Third three of the first quarter. For Carter leading the way for his Knights. Final minute of the opening quarter. Davis double teamed in the lane. His pass stolen away by Scheffler. Up ahead to Smith all alone, and he misses the dunk. The ball slipped out of his hands, and a missed opportunity for the Knights as we get a foul at midcourt, just when Plainview thought they were getting the steal back. Instead, Willis is at the line, and the southpaw misses the first. So a missed layup for the Knights, a missed steal, followed by a foul for Plainview instead. And Willis hits one out of two. Final 30 seconds of the first quarter. 
Scheffler, his pass couldn't be handled in the lane by William. And it's turned over. Hard, coast to coast, but can't finish the finger roll. And on the other end, it leads the leak out for the layup for Smith. This time he is able to put it in the cylinder after the ball slipped out of his hands in the last fast break. Final seconds of the first quarter. Three seconds to go. Littles turns it over, stolen by Scheffler to beat the horn. The three is short. And the Knights lead by nine after one quarter of play in Texas tonight. As you're watching PBA Basketball on Triangle Media, presented by 1891. Whoa, personal foul. What the feezy? You can't use a beard trimmer below the 50-yard line. This is the Waterproof Lawnmower 4.0 by Manscaped. What's the difference? It's got new skin-safe technology to help reduce cuts and nicks. It's powerful, yet gentle, just like me. Dog, I appreciate you. Boop. Hey, watch out. Uh, I'm not ticklish. Get yours at manscaped.com. Start of the second quarter, and the Rough Riders begin with the basketball down by nine. Quickly getting to the rim is Ard and drawing the foul, so he'll head to the free throw line. Ard with three points so far tonight. The Rough Riders have been led by Tristan Davis, number 12, who has 11 of their 17 points. First free throw rims in and out. Davis with 11 points. And on the other end, Carter with 11 points for Plainview. Those two have led the way. The only two guys with more than five points so far tonight. Both free throws missed. So it's been Davis against Carter for most of this one so far. Here's Carter with the basketball for the Knights. Dribbled off his foot and picks up the loose basketball. Has to give it off. Drive in the lane for Smith. The pull up, rims off. Tip up and in, and it's good. Second basket for Smith, and it's a double digit lead for the Knights. Largest lead of this one. Hard with the Hezzy and the finish at the rim. Gets it back to single digits. Field with a nice crossover to elude pressure. Pull up three, flanks off the back rim. Smith with the 
Offensive rebound once again. Feeds Carter, who couldn't finish the shot at the rim. Willis picks up the dribble. Runner left side, rims off for Littles. Put back try off the mark for Davis. And it's cleared out by Smith, who's been cleaning up the glass here in the second quarter. Now he'll show some, some range, and Smith, the big man, hits the three. Seven points now for Brandon Smith, second most on the Knights. And they lead by a dozen here in the second quarter. On the other end, the pull-up is buried by R. Nice response for the Rough Riders. And it's back to single digits once again. Carter gets his screen. Oh, fancy pass, and it leads to the foul for Williams. Nice no-look pass from Carter to get it there. And Williams at the line. First no good. 27-year-old from right here in Plainview. Is just one out of six at the line this year. Makes the second. First point for Williams tonight, and the lead is back to double digits for Plainview. They're looking for their first win of the season, and they're up by 10 here on the Rough Riders in their season opening game. Catch and shoot three for Littles is no good. He's scoreless from beyond the arc tonight. Loader in the lane, falls for Stubberfield. His first basket, and the Knights are back up 12. Some trouble. He passes it out. Littles pull up three, and he's fouled. Fouled by Williams on the pull up. Brandon Littles will head to the line for three attempts. Rough Riders shot it well from the line in the first quarter. Opened up the second quarter with a pair of misses, though. And the shooter is rolling for Brandon Littles on the first. Second. And the third rims off. Scheffler back in the game for the Knights. Three-pointer. Short for Willing. Moore back in the game for the Rough Riders with that rebound. Euro step for Littles in the paint. Runner off the mark. Moore with the rebound. Second chance for Littles. And he draws another foul. Use that pump fake to get Gwynn in the air. And so the Rough Riders will inbound. And a foul called on the running shot for Ard from the left side. Paul Ard will go back to the line. It's the first to bound in. Second is short. And 
and the Knights will turn it over. Hines is trying to triple through a double team. Angels done a good job taking care of the basketball this evening. It's turnover for them in quite some time. They've led since the opening possession. The Knights scored in their first possession tonight, and they've led ever since as Hines gets the steal. There's Gwynn in the lane. Shot rejected. Hard with the block. Up ahead to Moore. Euro step, the bank in, and they're going to get an offensive foul. Kayla Moore with the charge. Wave off the bucket. And it goes back over to the Knights. Hines pull up three, too strong. Put back try, altered by Moore. Third effort rattles in for Wynn. Brandon Wynn had the first two baskets of this game tonight. And those are his first points since. So he has six as Davis misses on the three. Scheffler with the tough pull up on the baseline. He gets it to go. First points this quarter for Scheffler. He has seven in total tonight. And the Knights lead by a Baker's dozen. He's past the midway point of the second quarter. Driving to the rim and finishing is our Nice take after hesitating. Catch and shoot, and it's good. Scheffler with the three. Back-to-back -back buckets for Danny Scheffler. He has two threes tonight, and he's now in double figures with 10 points on the game. It's a 12-point lead for the Knights. Working the baseline is Littles. And he traveled, turning it over for the Rough Rider. Scheffler with the hot hand. He hits another. This time from the elbow, three straight shots for Danny Scheffler. He has a dozen, and the Rough Riders had to take a timeout to try to regroup. Scheffler has caught fire here in the second quarter. He has 12 points to lead all scorers tonight now. As Tristan Davis will go to the line for a couple of free throws. Davis is the leading scorer for the Rough Riders tonight. He's in double figures with 11. Had a big first quarter, has been quiet here in the second. And Davis sinks the first. Second free throw rims in and out for Davis. And the rebound saved by the Knights. Scheffler has made a basket the last three trips down for Plainview. Let's see if they get it back in his hands. There he is, open for three. And this time it's short. Rebounded by Wynn, got it knocked away, but Wynn steals it back. Scheffler with another opportunity. The drive and kick. Extra pass over to Carter. He gets to the rim. Shot blocked by Moore. Davis stepping to the rim. A finish. And as 
it going to be an and one or a travel? Looks like a travel for Davis. Wave off the bucket for the Rough Rider. The Rough Riders turn it over on the fast break, and the Knights get it back. Carter for three. He hits another. Fourth three tonight for Carter. And the lead creeping towards 20 for the Knights. Littles with the turnaround, rattles it in from the baseline. Tough shot for Brandon Littles. Cuts into that deficit for the rough right. As we head towards the final two minutes of the opening half. Ball up three from straight on, off the back rim for Hines. And there to clean it up is Smith with another put back tonight. Big second quarter for Brandon Smith. Turnaround for Ard is short. Another rebound for Smith. He's been a monster on the boards tonight. Makes the behind the back pass and lays it in. A nice play by the big man. Brandon Smith showing some of his grace as he went coast to coast for the bucket. Hill fouled after rebounding his own miss. And Hill steps to the line for two. First was good. First game of the year for the Rough Riders. Knights much more experienced. This is their sixth game of the year. But still winless. And the second free throw, no good for Hill. Moore tracks it down. Stays here with the Rough Riders. Three-pointer for Ard is too strong. Carter has his pass stolen away. Final 90 seconds of the first half. The Rough Riders trying to get a little bit closer before intermission. Those gets the ball poked free, and the Rough Riders will inbound. Hard in the corner, hits the triple. Much needed bucket for the Rough Riders as we head to the final minute of the second quarter. Oh, a response on the other end with the pull up for the Knights. Big shot for Jaquan Smith, getting the three points right back for Plainview. Final minute of the first half. Littles finagling to the rim and fouled on the floater. Wynn can't believe the call, but Brandon Littles will shoot two. And Littles can't get the first to bounce in. It's the second. Final 30 seconds of the first half. Nice bounce pass ahead to Scheffler. Over to Carter. Here's Scheffler in the corner. Another three. Danny Scheffler keeps pouring them in. And the Knights push their lead beyond 20 here with 10 seconds to go in the first half. Hard gets a screen. In the lane, shot blocked at the rim by Wynn. The Knights trying to beat the clock. Here's Scheffler at the horn. No good. Couldn't put the cherry on top of the great second quarter for Danny Scheffler. And at the half, the Knights have a 21-point lead over the Texas Rough Riders as you're watching PBA Basketball on Triangle Media, presented by 1891. When I came home from prison in 2001, I had a tough time finding a job. Have you ever been convicted of a felony? 
when you get to that part of the application, your heart starts beating fast, your hands become sweaty. It doesn't matter your education or work experience. That's gonna be the determining factor. What up, what up, what up, what up, what's up, what's up with you? Hi, man. How you getting, man? Bring the military, you got no size. Bring inside, inside. I would fill out an application and they tell me that they're not hiring, but they got now hiring signs on the window. Did that make you go back to doing some of the things that you were doing before? Yep. That's crazy. Yeah. It's kind of like they forced you to. Set up. Right? It's, it's like set up. It's systematically set up for you to have to go back. I was three years old when the U.S. Marshals came, beat down the door, and got my dad. Maybe like five, the second time. I just kept asking my mom, like, yo, where's my dad? Where is he at? He would tell my grandmother, I'm not trying to do that no more. I'm trying to get my life right. What up, boy? What's up with your boy? Good to see you. Good to see you, man. Being a barber changed my dad. Being able to have a community that he can turn to when he needed something, that helped him a lot. That was a hard moment for me last All those ups and downs that you've been through, to look at you now, I am so proud of you. I'm happy to call you my dad, man. What you just said right there is what it was all about. Everything that I've done was for that. Now I can retire, so <laughs> I can retire now. Old man still got it. Now that look good, man. You see, black people have always needed a place to gather since the beginning of time. To build, to reflect, to inspire, to connect. They say if you want to go fast, then go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. See, in continuing to fight for our lives to matter, we must have a place to gather, to write a chapter, enjoy the laughter, think and capture, sharpen our skills into they master. Not only a place to fraternize, but to strategizing, analyzing, advertising, sometimes just fantasize. See, 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 there's a certain brilliance that only comes from the collective. One for all and all for one is the objective. You get the message. See, we've always needed a place for like minds to collide and unlike minds to gain a better understanding of the other side. You know the vibe. You may want to switch lanes and you need a place to pick brains and network with big names. The level up is insane. The true meaning of for us, by us, with us, grown by us, stories told by us, shown by us, loaned by us, so it's always owned by us. Somebody better write a song about us. We all we got. We all we got. So meet me down at the gathering spot. Welcome to tonight's presentation of the Pro Basketball Association. If you want pro, you want the PBA. We start the second half with the Knights up by 21 as the two teams have switched sides. So the Knights now work to our right in the dark uniform. Good first half for the Knights. They scored in their first possession just seconds into the game and have led ever since. Here's Carter on a deep three. And the Knights pick up where they left off in the second half. 17 points for Levon Carter to lead all scorers. Put back try, rims off for more. Third shot of the possession, not close. Hill, foul, finishes, and one on the fourth shot of the possession for the Rough Riders. Yeah. 
And the free throw, no good for Hill. Deep three, good! The Knights come out in the second half with back-to-back -back triples. And the lead expands to 25 as here's another and one. So a carbon copy. The Knights hit a three, the Rough Riders come down with an and one. The Knights hit a three, the Rough Riders come down with another and one. And the free throw this time is good. Tristan Davis. Not watching some sort of replay. We just had the same sequence here to open up the second half. Let's see if the Knights can go three for three. Instead, Scheffler's going to drive the lane. He'll draw the foul. Danny Scheffler had a big second quarter, 10 points in the second quarter alone. He was the leading scorer in the first half for the Knights with 15 points in total. Hits the first free throw. Just 20 years old out of Dallas, Texas. And Scheffler hits both. Four foul shots made for him tonight in five tries. Also has buried four threes so far. Scheffler with 17 points tied with Levon Carter to lead all scorers. Hill double teamed up top. He's in trouble. Here comes a triple team. And a foul called against the Knights. No, take it back. It's going to be a turnover on the Rough Riders. The defensive pressure leading to the change of possession for the Knights, and they get the ball back up 24. Deep three for Quinn. Too strong. And the rebound's going to carry him out of bounds. The Knights have enjoyed shooting it on this end of the floor here in the second half. As the lead has expanded for Plainview. There's a turnover, Carter with the steal. And he's intentionally fouled in the backcourt by Davis after Davis lost the dribble. Tristan Davis had 11 points in the first quarter. Very quiet with just one foul shot in the second quarter. It's an and one here this quarter, so he's up to 15 points to lead the Rough Riders in scoring. As another missed three, Karam's out of bounds for the Knights. Hill walks it up for the Rough Riders. Double screen. For the Littles, catch and shoot. Short. Rebound by McGee. Carter with the no-look pass and the lay-in for the Knights. A couple of nice no-look passes from Carter tonight for assists. Corner jumper off the mark for Moore and a whistle on the rebound. The Knights are doubling up the Rough Riders tonight. They lead 66-33, nearly midway through the third. Riders will inbound. And they get it into Little. Hops in the lane, powers up with the shot, gets it to go. But the basket won't count. A turnover first against Brandon Littles and the Rough Riders. Little's not happy with the call as they get him for a travel. And the Knights get it back up by 33. Gives it off. Gwynn gets past his man, dumps down low. And the bucket couldn't be finished by McGee. It's rebounded by the Rough Rider. Wide open for three is Ard, can't connect. And the Knights race in the other direction with Scheffler. 
contact, a whistle, and a charge. Call off the basket for Scheffler as he banked it in. And Stan Littles rewarded for the flop as he gets the offensive foul. Scheffler will check out with his 17 points tonight. He's been good for the Knights. Thought he had another bucket there. Instead, the offensive foul. The Rough Riders have it down by 33. Hills pass. Out of bounds. No look pass to Art in the corner. was off the mark. And the Rough Riders turn it over. Whistles. And the Knights will inbound. Williams couldn't finish. And Willis with the rebound. Pressure in the backcourt. Arv with the near turnover. Now darting away from the defenders. Down the lane. Dumps it off. And the layup is good for Davis. Nice job by Paul Ard to create there. And it leads to the Davis bucket. Tristan Davis leading the Rough Riders in scoring with 17. Banker too strong for Smith. Davis, pull up jump. Good. Back to back buckets for Davis. He has 19. Yeah. 22 point game midway through the third. Hines gets it to go. Littles twirling to the rim. Gets the ball knocked out of bounds. And will inbound it for the Rough Riders. Jumper in the corner, short for Davis. Hines lose the double team. Contact in the lane, the offensive foul call against Hines. Hines played in the PBA a year ago for the team based in Dallas. And now this year, a member of the Plainview Knights. In fact, when LeVon Carter was starting this team, Hines was the first man to join him on the roster. 25-year-old originally from Oklahoma City. Here's Carter. To Hines. To Carter. Beat the shot clock. The step back is no good for Smith. And the rebound. Out of bounds. Off the Knights. Hard. Oh, with the tricky shot, gets it to fall. Had to readjust in midair, and Hard gets it to go off the glass. Now, oh, quickly on the other end, the three knocked through by Carter. That's the sixth three for Carter tonight, and the Knights are up 23. Pointer well off the mark for Willis. Carter driving a kick. Goes to coast and unable to finish it off as little. Ball got knocked out of bounds off of the Knights. Now they're going to change that. Originally, it looked like the official on the baseline there said it would be. Rough Riders basketball, his partner helping him out. And ruled that little, lost it on his own, so it goes back to the Knights. Pull up. Bang! Knights racking up the threes tonight. Here's Davis in the corner. His three's no good. And a 
the pass stolen away by the Knights. On the fast break, the easy lay-in for Brandon Smith. And a turnover for the Rough Riders as they were moving too quickly. Willis threw it away. 28-point lead for the Knights. Hines to Smith. Oh, it rims off. Running the floor is Moore, and he's rewarded with the bucket. Pull up three, go! A bullseye for Stubberfield, it's a 29 point lead. Final two minutes of the third quarter. Littles with the pull up three, in and out. Another rebound for Smith, who must be approaching a double-double. Pass couldn't be handled in the lane by Smith, and it's stolen away by the Rough Rider. Little slows things down. Rough Riders only with six guys in uniform tonight. They play their first game of the season. Little's on the drive. Wow. Has he gotten it to the floor? There's free throws no good. Little's had seven points in the first half. The Knights have only grown their lead here in the third quarter. They have not trailed tonight. They've led since the very first possession. Second free throw, no good. Hines pull up three, short. Carter scoops up the rebound. And the Knights cash in on the second opportunity as Stubberfield buries the tray. Final minute of the third quarter. A give and go. But the shot couldn't be finished off by Davis. Grabs the rebound on the baseline. And standing out of bounds with Smith as he touched the basketball. So Texas will inbound from the baseline as we head to the final 30 seconds of the third quarter. Inbounds pass to Art and he hooks it in. Final 30 seconds of the third and a 30 point game. Nice adjustment by Hines to finish with the left. He's had quite the second half. Runner in the lane, no good for Willis. Rebounded by Smith. Deep outlet up ahead and the hammer dropped by Jaquan Smith. Final 10 seconds of the third quarter. Hill, double teamed, throws it away, stolen and tripped was Carter on the fast break. Inbounds pass for Smith, hits off the iron, and that'll do it for the third quarter. The Knights expand their lead, and with one quarter to go, they lead the Rough Riders 86 to 52. As you're watching PBA Basketball on Triangle Media, Presented by 1891. What happens when everything we know about something changes? I tell people all the time, this is the best American story you never heard. We're out hitting the pavement, talking to restaurants, talking to bars. I don't think of myself as a whiskey salesperson. I want you to know his name. Drink by drink, we're bringing this story to light. When we have to step back through the pages of history. It's so much more than whiskey. It's so much more than a brand. It's a movement when we have to make amends and pay respect. We're honoring the greatest whiskey maker the world never knew. And it's beautiful. And give credit where credit is due. Uncle Nearest is the godfather of Tennessee whiskey and the world needs to know it. What happens? We do it.
uncle nearest. It's more than whiskey. Final quarter, and the Rough Riders begin with the basketball down by 34. As it's going to take quite the effort here in this final quarter to begin with a win this season. Hard fouled on the drive. And he'll begin with some foul shots here for Texas. 18 points tonight for Paul Art. Tristan Davis leading the way for the Rough Riders. He has a game high 21 points. And then Ard right behind him with 18. First free throw is good. Ard had only three points in the first quarter. He's now up to 16 points since the first. And there's number 17. In total, 20 points. All told tonight for Paul Lard. The Rough Riders are down by more than 30. Hines on the pull up. Short. And he'll get the board. Screen. It's inside the arc. The leaner. And Little's calls for uh, it's called for another travel as the Rough Riders turn it over. It's been a tough second half for Brandon Little's. He had seven points in the first half. He has not scored yet since halftime. No baskets, but a couple of travels for Little's instead. So he's been silenced here in the second half. And the Knights get it back up by 32. Schaffler on the baseline, bouncing it into Hines, and he finishes with the left. Pass by Sheff. Littles. Gets the bucket to go. First points this half for Brandon Littles. Nice bounce pass up ahead to Hines, and he finishes another at the rack. Back to back buckets. And the Knights with 90 points tonight. Just underway in the fourth quarter, have the large lead as the three's good for Ard. 23 points for Paul Ard to lead all scorers tonight. He's got it going after a quiet opening frame. Nice pass inside and Smith lays it in. Second bucket this half for Brandon Smith. He has 15 points on the game. Pull up for Davis. Three balls, no good. Smith with the rebound. And another nice assist for Smith, leading to the third basket of the quarter for Hines. The Knights are getting whatever they want right now offensively. The Rough Riders only with six guys in uniform tonight, and here in the fourth quarter, they looked a bit white. At least in the defensive end. Knights creeping towards triple digits. Plainview hasn't had any trouble scoring this year, but it's been more about their defense. As they're off to an 0-5 start, last time out they allowed 140 points in a loss to the Blue Tails. And they have allowed over 90 points in every game this year. They can score it. They just haven't been able to score as much as their opponents. Tonight it's been a different story. The Knights have been very efficient offensively and they're putting together their best defensive performance as well. Hard continues to put points on the board. This time from the free throw line. And it appears there may have been a violation on that inbounds for the Knights. They turn it over carelessly on the inbounds play. Willis in the corner, air balls the three. The Knights turn it over once again. Davis, the spin, creates space and finishes with the left. 23 points for Tristan Davis. He had 12 in the first half, already 11 so far in the second half. Hines foul, 
hold on the runner at the finish. It's an and one. What a fourth quarter for Hines. Nine points this quarter alone for him as he finishes the old-fashioned three-point play. And it's a 34-point lead for the Knights here in the fourth. Been all Knights tonight. Plainview's been knighted as they've led since the opening possession and have been up by more than 20 for a large portion of this game. Rough Riders with the bucket off the inbounds as Davis lays it in. 25 for him now this evening. Runner in the lane, too strong for Gwynn. Uh, the Knights will keep possession. Shot air ball by Wynn. Knights still have it. And the three knocked down by Stubberfield. His third three of the night. And that hits the century mark for the Knights. They lead 100 to 65. Now a steal for the Knights. Scheffler lays it in. Just his second basket of the second half, but Scheffler at 19 points tonight. Had another basket this half waved off because of the offensive foul. Hards three, no good. And Scheffler again, spots up for three. Short. Back in the hands of Scheffler. Shuffles over to win, the turnaround falls through. Eight points for Brandon Wynn tonight. He had the first four points of this game. Hasn't done as much sense offensively. Gives the Knights a 39-point lead with that last basket. Almost midway through the fourth quarter. Here's a block now in the defensive end for the Knights. Nice bounce pass. Euro step in the flush for McGee. It's a 41-point lead. Here's a steal for Gwynn. He's hammered. Finishes anyways on and one. Von Gwynn with the steal, the finish, and the foul. And he'll try to finish off the three-point play at the line. Nice sequence there for Gwynn, the 21-year-old. Right here in Texas. The Knights lead 109 to 65. Davis with contact. That's the foul. Davis makes them both. 27 points for him tonight, leading all scorers. Davis and Ard, the two big Knights. Against the Knights, oddly enough. They have scored the majority of the points for the Rough Riders. As the bank is still open for Williams. 
111 to 67. Quite the offensive output tonight for Plainview. Cruising on their way to their first victory. Step back. Good for Little. He's in double figures now with 11. And Scheffler is mugged in the backcourt. Deep three, short through Steverfield. Scheffler tracks down the rebound. He pulls up from distance. Can't put it through. Hard with the rebound. And down the floor, it's Moore with the fast break layup once again. Reverse, good for a win. Brandon Wynn now joins the party as he's in double figures with 10 tonight. And a whistle on the other end as Wynn went contesting on that Davis shot. Tristan Davis back to the line. And he hits another foul shot. Davis makes them both. 29 points for him tonight. Forty point lead for the Knights nonetheless. Take some air out of the basketball here as we head towards the final three minutes. Williams couldn't complete the take to the rim. Scheffler. Second try for Scheffler. Gets the foul. Scheffler's four out of five at the stripe tonight. And he hits another. 20 points for Danny Scheffler tonight. 20 points for the 20 roll. Scheffler fighting for his own miss is uh, called for the foul. So Littles goes to the line on the other end of the floor. And he sinks the first. Littles makes the both. Williams on the drive, flips it up towards the rim and doesn't get it to go. There's a circus shot from him. Hard, attacking, and finishing. Hard has over 20 points tonight. Teardrop, rims in and out for Gwynn. And the rebound pulled away by Moore. Pull up three for Willis. Short. Littles with the rebound. Final two minutes of this one. Littles retreats. Now attacks. Runner in the lane. Swatted away by Wynn. We get a foul, however, and Littles heads back to the line for two more tries. Final 100 seconds of this one. And the Knights lead by over 30. Little sticks to them both. Tour be lit, first of all, to even be on tour, you gotta be 
you gotta be one of the one of the super duper flies. People in Atlanta, they love Slutty Vegan, but like outside of Atlanta, it's crazy. The adrenaline rush that you get from it is just is amazing. We do celebrity events, casting calls, video shoots. When they say it's fresh and ready to go, like it's fresh and ready to go. We do it all ourselves. No machines, no nothing. We literally just got flat tops, grills, and fryers. Being on the road and being on tour specifically, it's like it's like you're a celebrity. Been to Boston. Tampa, Alabama a few times, North Carolina. The fact that we are able to travel together is like a whole different relationship. I like to call us like we're like fast and furious, right? Like it's, <laughs> you know, we're on the road. We're not in expensive cars or muscle cars, but we're in a big giant yellow truck. If somebody's got it and they're special and you see it and you want to work somewhere where you can just be yourself, this is the place. We make good tip money. You get to meet all types of people and it's fun. Pull up three, off the mark for Gwynn. Gets his own miss, in the corner for Williams. Back to Gwynn. Back to Williams, drives, can't bank it in. Littles rebounds. And he's fouled in the drive. Littles has been living at the line here in the second half. He'll head back to the strike. Two more. Littles has been good from the line here in the fourth quarter. So we have Final minute to play. And then it makes them both. Knights will put the finishing touches on the blowout win here tonight at home. And what will be their first win of the year? Three pointer for a win. Rims out. First game this season for the Rough Riders certainly hasn't gone how they had hoped. The reverse layup's good for Davis. He's been very good tonight. Now north of 30 points. Davis has played well, so too as Paul Lard leading the way for the Ruck Rider. Says Williams gets the lay in. Floater in the lane, good for Davis. Assisted by Ard, the two stars for the Ruck Riders tonight. They did all they could, still wasn't enough. Knights up by 30. Layup blown by Smith. And here comes Littles. To Davis for another lay-in. I believe Davis now at 33 points tonight. But the Knights are the big leaders here as they'll dribble out the final 10 seconds of this one. Plainview will get their first win of the year. And the Rough Riders will lose their season opener tonight. As the Knights led from the start to finish this evening, beating the Rough Riders 116 to 87. A big win for the Knights for their first W of the year. And the Rough Riders begin the season with a loss. You've been watching PBA Basketball on Triangle Media, presented by 1891.